This is my latest project for school. This was Computer Engineering 242 with Morris Jones at San Jose State University. This is a telemanipulator project. So I have a master arm here that you can manipulate by hand. And there is uh, an embedded control system here. And then there are six servos in another little robot arm that is that mimics this one. And so the idea is you maneuver this master arm and this slave arm will maneuver on its own to follow the motion of the master arm. The slave arm has six potentiometers at each of the pivot points and you can maneuver this arm around and the positions will be translated into voltages which will then be transmitted to the control board. The LPC2148 has six pulse width modulators on board. Because of some conflicts with other pins, I have chosen to use only three of the six, and then I'm multiplexing those to produce nine uh, channels that can be used to drive servos. In this project, I'm only driving six servos, but I have all the wiring in place for nine. So. There are three 7408 quad AND gates that are used to do the multiplexing. So uh, each one of these um, is hooked up to one of the three pulse width modulators that I'm using. And then there are three separate uh, group selection lines that go through and uh, select uh, which pulse in the pulse width, width modulation scheme to send out to each of the servos. So um, the uh, pulse width modulator one sends out signals on the first three. So it cycles first signal, second signal, third signal, and then back to the first one. Pulse width modulator two does the same thing for the next three. And pulse width modulator three does the, the same thing for the last three. So I am using a uh, uh, Castle Creations um, battery, battery eliminator circuit here uh, to drive the to power the, the servos. This will output I believe up to 20 amps of current. It's a little switching regulator that runs off a LiPo battery. The slave arm uh, consists of six servos that are connected together and these will actuate the joints on the robot arm. The first four are digital Metal Gear servos I uh, found very inexpensively. These are EXI D226F servos. And the last two servos are analog servos. These are high tech HS322 HD servos. And uh, these are used to actuate the, uh, the end effector here. I had problems with the previous robot arm I, I did. Uh, where it, it vibrated a lot, and that was due to the, the servos being too small. So these are much uh, have much higher torque. And I managed to strip the gears in a couple of the servos. So that's why I decided to go with the, uh, the Metal Gear servos. Here's the system all powered up. Uh, the servos make a fair amount of noise, and the arm still does shake a bit. Um, but it's a, it's a big improvement over the, uh, the agility and... and uh, shaking on the last arm I did. So you can see as I move the slave arm around I can get the, uh, sorry, as I move the master arm around and get the slave to follow. and it actually follows pretty quickly. And I can get the end effector to open and close, as well as rotate around. So let's give it a try. See if I can pick up a couple things here. There we 
go. Here's all the magnet wire. And a little piece of PVC pipe. So, there you are. Bye for now.